Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some really interesting news to share with you guys pertaining to the iOS 8.3 untethered jailbreak, as well as the possible entrance of a new team onto the jailbreak scene. But first, if you guys are interested in winning a brand new iPad Air, be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for instructions on my upcoming giveaway. Also, my Apple Watch giveaway did recently conclude. I announced the winner officially on Free Apps Fast Twitter, and I retweeted it. For those of you who have been asking, about it. I'm in contact with the winner and he will receive his Apple Watch shortly. All right, and getting straight into this really exciting video. First of all, I wanted to remind you guys to watch yesterday's jailbreak update video if you have yet to, because I discuss iOS 8.4's official release date, which was confirmed by Apple. And as most of you know, the next untethered jailbreak will be heavily contingent upon iOS 8.4, at least from what we know thus far. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and switch on over here. So today, following the conclusion of WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference on Monday, a few interesting developments in the realm of jailbreaking have come to light. Now, without an iOS 8.3 jailbreak from either Taiji or Pangu, those who are new to the scene are undoubtedly starting to panic as we approach one of the longest periods we've had to wait for a new jailbreak utility, second only to the days of iOS 6 through iOS 7, when 6.1.3 patched the jailbreak in March of 2013, and we didn't receive a new untethered utility until Evasion 7 in December of 2013. So with Pangu having recently demonstrated their ability to jailbreak iOS 8.3 at MOSAC, and with iOS 8.4 right around the corner, what can we expect as far as a new jailbreak for iOS 8.4 and iOS 8.3? Interestingly, PP Assistant, the group behind the Mac OS X port of Taiji, recently shared their insider opinion on the topic. Moreover, what about moving forward? For example, jailbreaking past iOS 8.3 and even 8.4. Well, according to new details from Forbes, an elite group of Chinese hackers dubbed Keen Team, also spelled with two threes, may have their sights on jailbreaking iOS 9 once the firmware is made available to the public later this fall. So starting with the latter of the two firmwares being iOS 8.x, let's highlight PP's claims. However, first it's important to understand Pangu's demonstration at MOSAC 2015. Essentially last week the jailbreak scene was abuzz with word that a new utility to save us from our eternal mobile boredom that is vanilla iOS would come into fruition thanks to Pangu's aforementioned demo. Some outlets even went as far as to highlight a specific release date for a jailbreak capable of functioning on iOS 8.3, June 9th local time in China, or June 8th for those of us in the US. However, said reports were unfounded as they were based on the misinterpretation of a Chinese blog who merely referenced the June 9th date. According to Pangu member Daniel K4, June 9th, 2015 was merely the date of a seminar one of his colleagues was hosting. Having said that, in spite of Pangu's official clarification and dismissal of release, rumors, PP took to saying the following in an entry, quote, after iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak, Apple took further steps to kill the jailbreak. This made 100 the iOS 8 jailbreak to move forward. However, with the successful demo by Pangu team on iOS 8.3 jailbreak, which is meaning that this firmware has been, quote, conquered. Although the Pangu team did not clearly indicate when they will release the tool. From what can be seen at this moment, Apple is releasing the final build of iOS 8.4 on 30th June, hence the untethered jailbreak for iOS 8.3 will probably be released in July. And while the prospect of a new iOS 8.3 and iOS 8.4 jailbreak is certainly appealing, PP's claims simply appear to be speculation. Nevertheless, it makes sense and the timing could certainly be on par with the jailbreak's release. And again, as we've known for weeks, Pangu would wait for iOS 8.4 prior to any potential release. We now have word from Apple on their main music page that iOS 8.4 will drop on June 30th, 2015, as I stated in yesterday's video, which is why I said it's important that you watch that one prior to this video. In other words, if we were to receive a new jailbreak for iOS, expect it after Apple rolls out iOS 8.4 to the general public. Now next, let's move on to iOS 9 and the Keen team, who are arguably one of the world's top tier hacking groups. Now, although they have yet to 
to release a jailbreak of their own, the team has an established history when it comes to breaking Apple's mobile security, previously winning $27,500 and $40,000 rewards for exploiting iPhones at the 2013 and 2014 annual mobile phone to own events, respectively. Now, Lang Chen, one of Keen's members, stated that while they're not interested in the monetary component of jailbreaking, deals for the creation of new utilities these past two years have been rumored to exceed $1 million from Chinese piracy sources, Chen is intrigued by the technical challenge involved in creating a jailbreak from the ground up. Now, apparently, Chen may have reached out to Pangu, who has openly expressed willingness for collaboration amongst jailbreak teams to lighten the load and expedite the future creation of a jailbreak for iOS 9, though they're reportedly against teaming with Taiji for unknown reasons. And while I've said it once, I'll say it again. Looking forward, the future appears extremely bright for jailbreakers. In addition to a potential iOS 8.3 jailbreak from Pangu, a new team may enter the realm of jailbreaking to assist in development. Again, Keen. So again guys, this is one of the best times to be a part of jailbreaking and although we're going on an extremely long dry period as far as the creation of a new untethered jailbreak is concerned, we potentially have some things to look forward to. Now if you guys like the information in this video and you're interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, be sure to rate this video up and navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up. Once you do, come back here, rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code, which is the portion that appears in the fourth tab down below at the bottom there after the equals symbol inside of the link itself. It's really simple. And that iPad Air 2 giveaway will actually commence soon. I'm also thinking about doing another giveaway, possibly something smaller like another Apple Watch that you don't actually have to use free apps fast to win. Instead, you'll be able to enter two times to possibly win one of two different prizes. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you guys are excited for the next jailbreak, let me know in the comments what tweak you're most ready for on iOS 8.3 and 8.4. And if you guys want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreaking in iOS 9, be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.